surviving direct hit enemy bullets to the chest, stopping hot metal fragments from IED explosions and protecting heads from otherwise catastrophic combat collisions are all known advantages of US Army soldier body armor. Staying alive in close quarter combat, infantry soldiers will tell you, requires a lot more than body armor, infantry has to maneuver, take cover, quickly assist fellow soldiers and in some instances, jump from rocks or building to avoid lethal enemy fire. In short, survivability also depends greatly upon speed and weight. As part of this, fatigue is a realistic variable. How can infantry soldiers be expected to perform with 100% of their abilities after hiking for 5 hours through mountainous terrain? while carrying more than 100 pounds of gear. U.S. Army infantry soldiers prioritize physical fitness, but how much faster could they maneuver wearing new material that is 14 times more effective than current body armor? This goal forms the principal inspiration for a current Army Research Lab effort to engineer a new kind of lightweight armor, intended to be 64% more impact-resistant than steel, and up to 8 times lighter than current armor. Scientists with the Army Research Laboratory and the University of Buffalo have begun laboratory experiments involved in restructuring microscopic materials to massively increase an ability to absorb impact and dissipate energy. Dr. Evan Runnerstrom, Program Manager, Materials Design, Army Research Office, Army Combat Capabilities Development Command's Army Research Laboratory, told Warrior in an interview. Current Army soldier body armor, called the improved outer tactical vest, can weigh as much as 35 pounds. Much of it is made of synthetic fibers such as Kevlar or Denema with either metal or ceramic trauma plates. The new material being used is a reconfigured variation of ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene, a plastic-like composite material known for its durability and toughness against extreme force, such as hard object penetration and explosive impact. Variants of the material are widely used in common materials, such as the plastic-like milk gallon cartons or even joint replacements, such as artificial limbs in humans. Scientists define the material, called UHMWP for short, as a linear, non-branching, semi-crystalline polymer, which can be described as a two-phase composite of crystalline and amorphous phases. The material now being tested, however, is designed to engineer a new kind of UHMWP that is 10 to 20 times more resistant than off-the-shelf UHMWP. This is accomplished through an elaborate scientific process designed to create microscopic structural variations in the composition and thickness of the material, Runnerstrom said. These new variations are created by combining differently configured polymer strands into integrated hard and soft material. On one side, polymer strands are both elongated and hardened together, while the other side is engineered to be softer and amorphous. This is done to generate a specific high-value impact. On one side the structure is still crystalline polymer. As you move through the thickness of the material, it becomes more amorphous and disordered. It becomes softer. This smooth transition between softness and hardness gives it the ability to absorb impact and dissipate energy, Ernestrom said. On the hardened side, long polymer are arranged together, the sheets, polymer, are lined up and very well ordered as Runnerstrom put it. The other, soft, side becomes amorphous polymer which is not as well lined up or stiff anymore. It allows the material to dissipate energy from an impact to the material, as opposed to a material that is only stiff or only soft," said Runnerstrom. Interestingly, an essay from the National Library of Medicine, National Institutes of Health, takes up the topic addressed by Runnerstrom and reinforces his point about how altering the mechanical properties of polymer can impact how the material behaves. The mechanical properties of the polymer are dependent on both its crystalline and amorphous phases. Altering either phase, i.e., changing overall crystallinity, crystalline morphology, or crosslinking the amorphous phase, can affect the mechanical behavior of the material the essay, called ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene. Mechanics, morphology, and clinical behavior states. By extension, the paper seems to also address the protective impact of stiffening or hardening some of the polymer crystalline strands. With respect to fatigue crack propagation, work has shown that increasing the crystallinity increases fatigue crack propagation resistance of UHMWP, the essay states. The work is being performed the Arlan research scientists at the University of Buffalo. Professor Shenkwian Ren, who leads the effort, writes that altering thermal or heat properties of UHMWP can change its performance, further reinforcing how different polymer strands can be altered and combined to engineer more resistant materials. The thermal and mechanical properties of UHMWP graded materials could be exploited for impact-resistant human protection applications. 
Wren writes in a scientific paper in an applied polymer materials journal called Functional Gradient Ultra High Molecular Weight Polyethylene for Impact Resistant Armor. The inspiration for this UHMWP configuration, now being pursued by Wren, can be traced to nature clam shells and pearls in particular. Runnerstrom explained that a natural material, called Nasser for calcium carbonate, forms the smooth iridescent material found on the interior of a clam or the outer layer of pearls. It is comprised of small individual crystal and carbonate platelets. Runnerstrom explained. The small calcium platelets are held together by a mix of proteins. Instead of using calcium carbonate they are using UHMWP. He added, referring to the new effort. The exciting thing is by using bio-inspired materials we can design the microstructure of materials that are already known and can be manipulated to give us greater performance," Runnerstrom said. Overall, the effort could be described as future-reaching basic research, and scientists say this material may still be five years away. However preliminary laboratory testing shows the material does not break and nothing passes through to the other side.